In this video, you will learn how to bring your Revit model into SketchUp. After importing the model to SketchUp, we'll simplify the layer structure so it's more suited for our SketchUp workflow. Let's start off in Revit. Open your Revit project. I'll use the sample project that comes with Revit. To view the model, click the 3D view icon in the toolbar. Before exporting the model, I'll check the project units. This project is modeled in millimeters. Now export the model as a DWG file. There's one very important setting that you have to enable. In Export Setup, click the Solid tab. Here you want to make sure that solids are exported as ACIS solids. I'll call this file home.dwg. Exporting to AutoCAD 2013 DWG format will work for most versions of SketchUp. When the model is exported, launch SketchUp. Before importing the DWG file, I'll check my model units in SketchUp. As you can see, we are currently using Imperial units. The Revit project is modeled in millimeters, so how does that work? Well, as long as we specify the units for the incoming DWG file, SketchUp will convert the units and your model will import to scale. Ok, let's get rid of this guy and import the model. I'll click File, Import and then select the DWG file. Before I click Import, I'll check the options and set the units to millimeters. It'll take a while to import the model. When the model is imported, a window with import results will appear. Click Close. So here's the model. In the layer palette on the right, you can see all the layers of the model. Each layer has a color. If you enable color by layer, you can see that individual objects are in fact assigned to different layers. To work effectively in SketchUp, I like to simplify the layers. I actually delete all of the layers except for layer 0. By selecting Move Contents to Default Layer, I force all geometry, components and groups to layer 0. Next, I create my own layers and assign objects to layers from Entity Info. By hiding the target layer, you will gradually hide the objects that you assign to the layer. When there's no more geometry in the viewport, all of the geometry has been assigned to a layer. Ok, so wrapping up. You'll see that I'm just now assigning the last objects to layers. For this project I only need 6 custom layers, but you should create layers that make sense to your project. A word of advice on layers is to keep it simple. Fewer layers are easier to manage. Also, don't assign individual faces or geometry to layers other than layer 0. Only groups and components should be assigned to layers. I suggest you create a separate layer for window glass. Hiding the glass layer will make it easier for you to explore the model. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to subscribe and click this icon if you want to be notified when new videos are available.